and welcome to my final part of the Scottish tour. I've made it past my detour, uh, back to reality. I've met up with the lads. This is Tindrum in the background, or Tindrum as it may be pronounced. I'm not sure. I'm going to call it Tindrum. And uh, let's see what sort of gold we can find here. <laughs> You'll get to know this place well. The Green Welly Stop. It's got everything you need in Tindrum. And it's the only place that's got everything you need, really. Looking down to where Pine Trees, where we're staying. And here we are, coming down into Pine Trees itself. Such a great place. You can pan on the river and there's gold in it straight away. So Matt is trying out his new drone, uh, it's got no uh, microphone on it and if you couldn't zoom in on the gold I got in my pan there but uh, it's quite a cool thing once you get used to it. And yes, the midges are killer. Yeah? Okay. Here on pine trees. Just digging behind that rock there. That's a drop riffle set up. Building up the dam as I dig my little hole out. Get some gold. All the other lads uh, hit gold straight away in the places they chose to dig or scrape out. Uh, I chose this inside bend on the gravel bar, uh, just trying to think out of the box because you, know, you think everybody's done everywhere along pine trees. Um, and I didn't pick a very good spot. I was I got a few specks, mainly pinhead dots of gold. The other boys seemed to do really well. Uh, so I just chose the wrong spot, but there we are, it's luck of the draw sometimes. <coughs> Back at the hole that I dug the other day, I left it open, we got permission to pan on here, so just left a couple of big rocks as a marker so people don't fall in it. Dug there all day, had a few specks, basically nothing. How's it going? Not bad. Super sluice on the go. Another super sluice. Bit of gold first go. <laughs> That's what you want. You see it on the map from here. We want a few fifties, yes. Mmm. Be nice. Not even a four kill as you call it. <laughs> <laughs> or a bit of fool's gold. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, I'll have that bit of fool's gold. You don't need it, mate. You don't need it. Die. No way. But I'll go I'll go charge it up and I'm gonna get drawn out later on. That'll be cool. Yeah, give me a bit of drone footage, I'm into that. Yeah yeah. Matt and James a few feet down the river from me. And they're pulling out my gold like no tomorrow. <laughs> and we picked a nice spot where they could reach the bedrock and uh, there was no sign of bedrock where I was digging. So I gave up on my hole. So I briefly met another Welshman on site, Mark Bardry, nice to meet you mate. And also met Justin Adams, and he was busy panning down the pine tree stretch as well. So the next day after a fry up in the Green Welly, we decided to follow a lead up and go to a well known valley and uh, try and find some gold there. 
there and the main river was just too full of water. There were a few bedrock outcrops sticking up, but I couldn't persuade the others to get on it. So we all decided to go up Burns instead. However, the burns were raging too. So we kept going up, 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 up the stream until we did find the gravel bars that were a bit more mellow. There was high water everywhere. Go on. You pussy. across this gravel bar and the water was low enough to actually have a dig and a pan about low we all test pan quite a few areas and all we were getting was micro dots from the UC gold but most of us burn a few all the best places have already been dug so uh, we didn't do particularly well here either so I didn't do the area though hang on hang on Back a minute! I've lost it. Oh, there we are. Look at this bloody thing. Right, go up that quartz vein and show me what it's like. So we're on a burn below a massive quartz outcrop running down the mountainside. Just about to see it on my camera, it's not good enough. It goes all the way up the mountain. It's amazing. So that must be a fault where the partly where the gold's coming out down this. This waterfall is as high as I went. Water's still raging. We dug a bit around here. Bob got a bit of gold. I called it a day. Shit roll on the floor there, dirty bastard. So on to the next.
good, man. A long walk up the burn. Yeah, I needed that. I was flagging. Yeah. Yeah, I can't deal with no fry up in the morning, you know. I've got to have a fry up in the morning. You won't have a fry up this morning? No. Couldn't you cope with cereal? Not good. No? No. No, well, I secretly filmed you devouring a lot of that, Jason, at the start. What's that? When, when you first got it, I thought I was filming oh, your food. Chips? Yeah, and you nearly took your fingers off. Yeah, I'm sorting it out. Yeah. You feel the energy coming back to me. Ready to dig a hole. Ready to dig a fucking big yeah. hole. Yeah. He had, he had a couple of couple of bits of fudge before this as well. Yeah, energy's Look up. That's... Our prospect is ready, dog. Get that hole Arr. open. Been out this morning. He's, um, he's just got his first meal that day. Tuck it into his cheesy chips. Oh, look at that. He loves that one. He's not messing about. Oh. Boom! <laughs> Go on! Look at that. He's not even going to put a sauce on yet. This is a panna's dinner. Look at, look at the fucking yeah. work on those hands. Oh, I tell you what. If you put, you put as much work in a finding dog. I'm just thinking we're going to be crossing a river. It's a bit of fun. Mind your window down and see what the fuck's going on. First decent day since I've been here, and the gold is getting bigger today as well. Beautiful place. Second day, good weather. Got a new style of panning going on here, swirling it round like a speed panning to get rid of the top bit before it converts to the normal conventional panning. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, it's what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
well on that bit there. Well, it's all the fine stuff, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three now. Last morning. You alright, mate? What's wrong, mate? You going for your breakfast at Greenwell, eh? Fucking right. Oh, yeah. How have you done on gold? Half a gram. Half a gram. Look at that smile there. Oh, I'm cheeky chops at 7am. This is what's going on today. Massive crevice all the way down in there. I've already shifted all the overburden. Now I'm scratching out the crevice. And hopefully we'll be able to clean it all out before the end of the day. Make some nice specks of gold out of here. Been shoveling straight onto the sluice and when getting the cracks out, been uh, pacifying it, feeding it a bit slower. But the Caledonian Mini's been catching it all really well. Micro dots to nice flakes. Still got loads of compacted stuff in there to pull out. It's an amazing place we found here. Mad Dog McIver, how are you doing? Not good. Not good. <laughs> this is our chasm of glory. <laughs> I'm slowly digging out my crevice. A couple of nice bits in there, sitting in the sluice. There, there, I hope there's more in the riffles. It's been a brilliant last day in Tindrum. I wish I'd found this crevice a few days ago. Well, there we are, you got a prospect to find the good places. Beautiful. Well, that's it, Tindrum done. Time to see some pans. Well done to all the lads I was with, we all did pretty well, it was a good trip, bring on the next one.